Tell me why, part two. <clears throat> okay, so it starts me here. Good. Might need to reduce the resolution again. Because it's stuttering just a little bit. Yeah. As soon as I get into control, I'll reduce the resolution. No one likes the like, lag and all that jazz. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is my... Should be a bit better. Yeah, the environments hey, are very pretty. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Uh... Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh, okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season and baseball. How can I say no to that? <laughs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> Smeagol? Oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I already like Michael. He seems like a good guy. Where? Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Well, I was looking around. Tessa still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Bible study with Father Bautista. Come and experience the living word. Okay. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Delos Crossing Police Department. Crime alert. Recently we have had multiple incidents of mail theft occurring in and around Delos Crossing. Residents have reported letters and packages stolen from mailboxes, well, particularly what are we waiting in the for? East Let's go shopping. And all 
milliseconds. Tyler, stop it. I'm just reading. Mm. Delos Crossing Police Department encourages all residents to increase awareness and consider pur purchase of locking mailboxes. Okay, Tyler is just being really annoying, so I'll go inside because that's what he wants. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. What do I Bugs feel like? Drinks. I'm starving. Can you take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Why do I feel like Tom is going to be like the antagonist? He has that, uh, he has that vibe going on. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't going to share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Everyone knows Bing is the way to go. I don't know if that's no way. Important. The Trout King is still here. Hey, have you still not picked anything out? Oh, uh, remind me what we need again. Repeat after me: an all-purpose cleaner, candles, drinks, and some snacks. All right, I got it. I got it. Repeat after me. Actually, don't. Oh, canned ham? How Ew, do people eat this? Ham. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Uh... Yeah. I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Been a rough day. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. I also feel like uh, Michael might be the antagonist just because of trust issues. Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder. Hey, have you still not picked anything out? Oh, uh, uh, remind me what we need again. Repeat after me an all purpose cleaner, candles, drinks, and some snacks. All right, I got it. I got it. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, 
Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Um You that only live once. Huge. That really is one enormous pumpkin. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. And I'm still debating whether to get the off-brand cola or something fancy. Like orange soda. Man, I haven't shopped like this in ages. Take your time and enjoy it. Dead, moose head, or deer head. How many hours did we spend here as kids? A lot. Marianne would come here to play cards with Tessa, and we'd have the run of the place. It was the highlight of the week. We'd play on the playground, and Tessa would let us fill our plates at the restaurant. And it got Marianne off our backs for a little while. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Didn't he say he wanted orange soda? OJ sound good to you? So now I need a cleaning supply. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. So I can either get boomerang. And I will. Or organic something. I can't read that. Organic clean. Did, okay. Did you write that? You're sweet, but uh, no. It's from this I like cheesy I'll take the strong one. Elba. Oh, didn't see it. Eh, he can probably okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Oh, yeah, he's like the cashier dude. Obviously, it's like I'm not just gonna walk out with this stuff. It's like, okay, bye, Tom. Thanks for the stuff. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Cheap. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Yeah. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We you found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Does she Did know? she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. It's like, I feel like she's like spewing bullshit. She knows something. I don't know where this is.
it's like it seems like it's here but it's not at the same time like it looks it looks like it's behind me like it's like right here I don't really know what my objective is here. Yeah, it's on that side of the store, like where he is, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So go with like these doors. I don't. Oh, have I been missing this the entire time? I have to do the right trigger the entire time. Gosh darn it. Well, that's unfortunate. It's like I completely forget. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Was I? Oh, I, I forgot that I was supposed to follow to play cards. No, there's no time for games today. I wasn't really thinking. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. There we go. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Please, let's Marianne just talk- defended us because Tessa got all preachy. I would- Which is it going to be? For a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help! Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, what let's not bitch. do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. I knew it. I knew that she knew something. Is there something I can do for you? Oh. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Yeah, press that button. Does your brother need any um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but uh, thanks. 
Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Might as well exhaust all so the So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. Canasta you locked yourselves fun. in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. I know, right? A uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Hmm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can figure out what song like it was. I don't like when James do that. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. Ooh. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. And copyrighted music, probably. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? I'm really kicking myself that I forgot. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. You know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see.
Kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help your corpse. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. You noticed uh, when Allison was just idle, she yawned, but yeah, like like that, but her mouth didn't open, so it was like, mm. really weird. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Here he is. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. I forget exactly what was on that pamphlet or whatever. Is that it? I, I think I think I got everything, unless I'm missing something completely. Like, do I leave? Do I talk with people more? Hello there. Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. <laughs> Taking a break already? Yeah, I needed a moment of zen. Tessa's been on my ass all day. Look, I get one count wrong. She has to triple check everything. Like we'd go full on Lord of the Flies if there was one too many frozen pizzas. It kinda sounds like she has a good reason to doubt your commitment to the inventory process. Oof, Brutus. So your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? I turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well, I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Hmm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Psh, just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. It's really hard to commentate when there's so much dialogue, so I apologize if I go quiet. Are you working tonight? No, thank God. I've been pulling doubles all week. I'm working at the diner all day tomorrow, though. You want me to bring you anything? Uh, I'm trying to cut out carbs and grease for a while. Girl, you may as well just lay down in the dirt and let the bears take you, because that is no way to live. Later. Thought he might have been a bit helpful, but nope. Okay, so where is that memory? Here. I walked right past it. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, 
time Miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Sounds actually really good. Even though I don't really like bananas. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Ha, kingdom. Nice. Get it? Because yeah. it's a dome? Yeah. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Okay. Can I go up here? Probably not. Nope, I didn't think so. Okay, what am I missing? I don't think I get back in the car. And I might as well check. Nope. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? I don't know where that pamphlet is, though. Unless I talked to Tom more, but I don't think... He has anything else to say. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know... We run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. How topical with all the things going on recently. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I don't know how to, uh... Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Unless it's this. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Same. Casting call, role of Rodolfo in La Bohemia. Bohemia, I can't pronounce that. 21 to 31 years old, male, athletic, great in spirit, all backgrounds, singing ability, a must. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Roll the derby. Uh, I need to go roller skating again. I was really hoping that there would be information on the pamphlet here, but there isn't. Not that I'm aware of, anyways. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Urgent. Don't miss out on this opportunity. What if I told you the government owed you up to $10,000 in cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this seriously. Click below to take the two minute questionnaire and claim your money. Click here to let us know if you'd prefer check or direct deposit. That's not sketchy at all. Click this link down below. 
type in your social security number. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Alliance for Traditional Families November Newsletter. One, watch Dr. Whitmore's talk articulating God's design for sexuality. Two, ten powerful Christian quotes that would change your life. Three, a parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Four, Virtue Seekers Youth Camp, now it's now in its 20th year. Admissions for 2015 open. Your order has been shipped. Hello, thank you for shopping with us. Your order of garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. Shipped. Shift. Shift. Shipped. Arriving Tuesday, November 10. Thank you. Hey, Tessie. I just got back from my work, workcation and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said that they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today. And apparently you got them both to eat care care? Please let me know what saint you prayed to pull that off, lol. All morning they've been going on and on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores they ate and bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both this happy at the same time. Usually it's one happy, the other one crying. Ah, uh, the story of my life. I know you're busy with a store and getting ready for, to be first lady. Smiley face. So thanks for making time for them and so sorry about the last minute drop off. You know how work has been. The girls say, we love you Aunt Auntie Tessa. P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to show him the new media room, which will keep him busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, Notorious NIC. The elephant in the room. I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. I know we were all moved beyond words by her performance at Danny Boy of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up on time every week like everybody else? I think we should start planning the winter gala without her. Thoughts? Barb. Seize the day! Robin Williams. Oh, rest in peace. I miss Robin Williams. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? You read her diary! Up. Let's go back a page so I can read it. Elijah, June. $24 for meal at the restaurant paid off. September, $11, doll for the kid. Eric B. February, $50. March, paid off February's debt. September, $20 for gas paid in full. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Marianne, April, $50 for gas paid off. May, $37 groceries plus $30 new jacket for Allison paid off. Helped at store. June, 20, $21 for medicine paid off. August, $40 groceries paid off. Help during rush inventory. October, $140 for washing machine repairs. No show. November, $55. New shoes for kids. Check bounce. December, no show. Not returning what are we calls. Waiting for January, Let's no go talk show. To Tessa. I'm reading. It's like, I don't like it when games do that. It's like, they put things that you need to read. But if you don't read fast enough, the game scolds you for not reading fast enough. It's terrible and I don't like it. 
What's this doing here? Achievement unlocked. One for the collection. Found your first hidden book of Goblin's figure. As I said, I'm not going for 100% completion. I'm not gonna Someone got paid to write look for this. every single little thing. What are we waiting for? Let's go I'm, talk to Tessa. I'm literally right next to her, just about to talk to her. Stop it. Get some help. Is there something I can do for you? We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Um... October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. I... We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Why'd she pull out the gun then? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But she's like, this is my gun. I'm gonna show it off. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey. Look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just... thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. It's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. 
exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Keep an unlock. May Tessa tell the twins everything she knows. So I got the like the good option there. That's good. It's good that I got the good. Goody goody gum drops. This is gonna be awkward. This is kinda bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? That is kind of creepy. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not oh creepy. Oh my god. He's Delos Crossing's longest Justin serving Beaver, officer. Justin Beaver, really? I am the law. Home sweet home. I hate how much that... I'm here growing up. It's yeah, such whenever a good Eddie was working. Pun. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing like a in here. Dad joke. Memo to all police department personnel from Pleasant Bay Mental Health Institute. Date October 6th. Transfer 10 26, 2015. To all Delos Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients, Dean Becker and Kevin Sutton will be transferred to the Fallen Creek Correction Center, Why? SBU, on Where Monday, Brown, October 26th, Yeah, 0800. I thought you were still here when it happened. Or 8 o'clock. Oh, Greg's, Just leaving this out on display again. Greg's, Like Officer Greg's, The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. Ew. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Did he see plankton? Because if he didn't see plankton, he didn't eat out of the chum bucket. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Become an adult when you take on the responsibilities. Where is this memory? Is it upstairs? It might be upstairs. Oh. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. That's sad. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. The mailbox uh, bank, huh? Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Sometimes I just don't know what choice to make, so I just go with whatever. So. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Boto.
Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every so year, and she's got a fantasy there. league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. Okay, I'm not reading all Damn that. It. It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's a police station. You can pause the video to read it for yourself. Now go upstairs. Tyler, you coming? Is there a memory down here? Because it was like really, it was really strong down here. Yep, but I don't need to tell you that it's off limits. I don't know where this is though. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Oh, it's in here. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Okay, so there was some dialogue talking about the archives and the arm that I kind of missed because I was trying to find that memory. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. You did not get Come back her upstairs key. when you you're just, done, like, okay? Put your hand out. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. So sometimes the devs just get really lazy in their animations, which is fine. But it bothers the heck out of me. I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. <sighs> Something's in the way. Did Brown just flat out ignore me? Um, I didn't notice. Yes, yes, But I mean, did. he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. <laughs> thanks, thanks for making Man, me feel bad, never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Mailbox bandit and investigation. Confirm locations and those addresses, okay. How has this guy not been caught? I don't... Stop. Ah, uh, here we go. On October 27, 2015, at approximately 10.03, Officer Greggs and myself were dispatched at 239 Woodlawn Road to respond to a report of a theft. We arrived at approximately 1022 and spoke with owner Lawrence Cooper, date of birth, July 15, 1967. Cooper reported that his mailbox had, broken it, had been broken into. Cooper stated, I checked it two days ago because I am waiting on my new phone. 
They made me pay extra for shipping to get here on time, but I said I ain't having that shit. I'm gonna pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said they would be here Tuesday, but this morning the lock was smashed to shit and there wasn't nothing in there. Probably that punk ass toe down. No, toe down is a street alias for Jervis A. Sallow, known to myself and Officer Greggs and formerly number 12882, last known address, Amita Plaza Apartments. Cooper also stated that he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went on to state, when I find Toe Down, I'm gonna stuff his out I'm gonna stuff his ass up his own ass. Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper then stating then stated his willingness to prosecute Sallow and was directed to seek charges with the prosecutor's office. I think from this point onwards, I'm probably just not going to read all the things just because I kind of want to just move a, move the story along. It's like, I'll still interact with stuff just so I get all the hey, things. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Whew, Rose never lets me back here. going we're just gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions okay okay you okay yeah I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here huh Rose left the computer on I don't know the passwords. Memo to all police department personnel from Rose Jackson. Subject, new administrative software. Please reset your password. With the introduction of our new administrative software, all employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer cannot be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions, Rosie. Okay, so I don't know any of the passwords. Okay, that that was awkward and rude. Please get out of my way. Thank you very much. Okay, so where's the break room? I don't know. Is it over here? Yes, yes it is. Okay, let's go in. So locker room. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. But there's this. It's locked though, so I don't have the key for that. Yep, it's locked. Leak standings. And all Didn't those. Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but hey, is ugh, they've let this place get gross. Oh, come on, game, don't do that. It's like dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. In a row, you don't let. You the think they'll finish. mind if I take one? These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. I'm not that hungry. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Cute. This is your lunch area. Keep it clean. I slur my words. It's like... I have a How hard time still with work? this. You like, sure you want coffee dialogue? this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh... I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I 
I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? He heard that. You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go coffee. inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? She been unlocked, bound to a lie. Remember the night the twins agreed to lie. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. A seat. Who are you, are Chris you? Hansen? Take a seat. Ah, damn it. Oh. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Seem like there is oh, there's this poster. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. Say what is interactable there. Please, Chief Brown, ask council council to reconsider budget. Doc strike to begin this week. Mayoral election. Candidate Tom Becky supports gun control. Money for local schools. I think that was the same newspaper as before. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. Oh, this is what was blocking it. I feel so stupid. This is heavier than I expected. With things, because I thought it did it automatically, like appearing that it was uh, before, because I don't think I was pressing right trigger before. It was just appearing by itself. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, uncle. Uh, hey, you remember this guy? Of course. Tyler Ronan. The prodigal son returns. Yep. Look at you. I didn't even recognize you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality, not with family. Huh. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's gotta be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah?
Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew where to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Is that all I'm gonna get Thanks, out of Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust yeah. me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, Smack. okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Ugh, that's a... Mm. I'm gonna side with Tyler. <sighs> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I feel so bad for him, for uh, Tyler. He's like, he just wants to, to know the truth. But I get what, uh... The hell is that? It looked like a, like a shadow person. I was joking when I said there was a shadow man living in the house. Stop! Here we go again. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, no. Mad Hunter. Oh, shit. That's actually rather terrifying. I didn't know this was a horror game. Please, 
Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. You can see my face now. Right now, my jaw is like wild. What the fuck was that noise? Now is the end of chapter one. Okay, the choice is Allison was disappointed that Tyler didn't accept Eddie's peace offering. While I was in the very, well, not the very mi minority, but it's like I was in like a minority by a long shot. Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. Wow, 19% of people didn't at least try it. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. Wow, that is such a close split. Wow, it's like it was a 4% difference. Hmm. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. Well, yeah, it's... I, I went with that just because it's like I feel like the bond between siblings is stronger than the bond between a parent figure and a child. But that's just how I see it. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. I was in the minority there. I didn't call out. Tessa opened up to the twins about Marianne. Wow, 47%. Hmm. Surprising. Yeah, it's like... Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. Yeah, it's like like I was saying. The, uh, the bond between siblings is stronger. Okay. Get right into chapter two. Man, that twist just so boggles now? my mind. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Plus that Wait, shadow guy, you're the not mad seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Oh, that was a post credit scene. I thought that just went right into the... Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, Next chapter. there lived a pair of crafty goblins. It's gonna be like a recap. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived.
Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. For like a split second. Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, her voice where she was no longer truly familiar. a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. My hunch was wrong. I was lucky enough to see if this, the voice actor was another role. It just sounded very familiar. What a waste. gonna be okay. Dead. Allison. So she was traumatized just for the wrong reason. I killed mom. I killed her. Chapter 2, Family Secrets.
more copyrighted music because of course Doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just though? have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, Same, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. You're doing a great job. Uh, huh. thanks. Achievement unlock, kick me. Stuck a note on Tyler's back. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Dumping cake, ingredients, all that. On screen for a second, just so you can read it all. Hmm. 
Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Oh. That smell smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. I don't know, uh... You hungry? What type of animal superhero? a whole I lot of nothing. Probably a fox uh, of some kind. I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those... Pickle and ketchup sandwiches? Uh... I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. And what do you know? More stuff. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no, no more, more monkeys, monkeys jumping, jumping on, on the, the bed. bed. He's jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. God. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah, and Marianne was a mess. But soft, what light through yonder? Oh, wait, it's just you. Clever, clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm, I could use that ball. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. You owe me five bucks. Oh my god. Wow. This is unreal. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? So maybe her mouth does move when she yawns, and I just didn't notice. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Congratulations, you found the map. That will lead you on with no mishap. Follow my trails of twinkling stones, and perchance you'll escape the unknown. 
Is that a widow of some kind? So long, trusty bunk beds. Dearest Ali, how are you? I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I'm writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend Baloney, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Kind regards, Allison. Right then. To Ali from Allison. Others may not understand the laughs that we have together and love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. I love you. Happy Siblings Day. Well, that's nice. Is that everything in this room? It looks like that's everything in this room. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? I'm just exploring, my guy. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's what? way too much junk to sort through. But it... Ooh, I could turn this thing into a terrarium. Hey, remember Volcano? Salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. What to do with this? Uh... It looks so in good condition, so I'll keep it. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Is that another little collectible thing? What's this doing down here? Is that... gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. New collectible, the big frog. Goblins were here. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. Uh... I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Ah. Uh... I love this one. 
Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Like Allison. You hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. <laughs> you're right. I was kind of being a brat. Did I not read what's on that thing? Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. We don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Good talk. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops. I forgot. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? I don't know what that choice was for. I didn't really understand. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Yeah. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Like, I hate, uh, banging my, like, knees and, like, toes Starting the fire things. again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Boom! <laughs> How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. It's the Mad Hunter, I tell you what. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. 
Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. Y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <sighs> I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. I don't know which one is which. It looks like it's Tessa, uh, Eddie, and Sam. You go here. You done? I'm not going to read it, I'm just going to skim through it. I'm going to take a swing at things. Alright, I think I'm done. You sure? I'm just gonna take a stab in the dark. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Achievement unlocked. Guess who? Figured out who inspired each book of Goblin's character. Is he here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Oh, go this 
this is just course. creepy. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know... Never been much of a reader, huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Who is the the smiling man? The mad hunter? Like, who is he? If he's anyone at all. That apology was something. Come on. We need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. It's very terrifying. I didn't think that uh, Don't Nod would do that. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Okay, maybe they do have Fair warning. It was okay. a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. So, I need the Mad Hunter. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh. 
Well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse This doesn't box. seem suspicious <laughs> Oh, all. no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But uh -oh. I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. Where's the fuse box? Oh, it's right there. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Uh... Marianne, I wrapped right. up your electrical board. Look I gotta what? run, but in case you want to check it out, careful uh, not to overload the circuits. You have to use 15 amp thing, fuses for the for the garage. The Amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Sam. P.S. Pretty proud of myself for once. I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cable. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. What Dryer happened? water okay? heater. Uh, yeah, it's just a... Uh, kitchen outlet. Just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. I don't know if there's like a counter. Yeah, uh, well, I got hurt. Damn. That's rough. Let's try this one. Thirty-five. Sixty-five. Hmm. Handle seems to be working just fine. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. No, nope, not that. Nothing one. a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime. It's a door okay, latch. Hold on a second. A bottle of cheap tequila. Because if there's six, Ooh. sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita, really? Hey, sometimes old Sam well, likes not? to feel fancy. Apparently not. Okay. You can hold this. So thirty. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, 50. insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh, not always. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam. 70. 90. 120? That's not right. You sure you don't Wait, what? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, um, did you read the note next to the box? Oh, for the garage, okay. There's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like um, the builder really screwed that up, huh? <laughs> hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it, too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. And oil in the spring. Linseed? Oh, hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. Teak is what you want. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I counted up to 120, but I could be wrong. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Amps total up to 120. Bit. So it needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. That's probably what was jamming it in the first place. Because Probably because so. it's in the you right one, I have to assume yeah, well, that it's correct. You're not correct. the only person who used to fix stuff around here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. So 15. So there has to be one more 15. I just don't know for what. I'm 
gonna assume it's 30 for this one. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, budge. Is there oh I get it. One oil in the I think. Nope. You'll have to pick some up at the Beckys. So that's Anyways, yellow. See how loose the bolt is? That's Strike red. Does that mean we can't fix the door? Um, yeah. That's yellow. Not today. So much for an easy fix. That's yellow. So it's 60, 90, yep. And then this one is blue. Verify. Mm -hmm. Seems good. There we go. I figured it out. Eventually, but I figured it out. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. What was that about? Anything they're interacting here? Yes, there is. Preda rep. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Huh. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down. Oh, the gun's missing. Hey there, little buddy. I hate spiders. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist, instead of just locking herself up out here. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Think that's everything? I don't know what else there is to interact in here. Oh. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile yeah, of junk to me. Guess, Where you see guess. junk, I see dollars. Copyright of music. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, that's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. I know how it feels to have an infected injury. It's not fun and it hurts a lot. I don't want to.
allowed to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Well, it's an Where emergency, are you going? so... Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. I wonder if, uh, the map hunter is Eddie. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please, leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please, just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Yes, yes it is. Oh. You're a... God... Get out of here! Get off my property I don't know what right the now! Right choice. I think that's like choice for life. So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what he's would gonna... these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. He's gonna look out and then he's gonna see something, isn't he? No? Maybe? Okay, maybe not. It's just so pretty. Man. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. <sighs> it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Big mistake. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, it's just 
Just give me a sec. Something's gonna happen here. I just know it. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Uh, uh... It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice-cold beers when we reached the summit. Black Creek Trail. Black Creek Trail. Every day shuttles the trailhead from Delos Crossing. Departs at 8 a.m. in front of the community theater. June to September. Did you, uh, did you guys hear that, Whose uh... Whose are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? The... Base camp for Mount Everest got moved due to, uh, heavy traffic. Such a shame, because it's such a... It's such a good trek. Like, it's a good, like tourist destination but there's just so many people nowadays where it's just they all want to do it at the exact same time and it sucks looks like you found a nice spot we've been here before right so tina tina west our realtor oh that tina what'd she need she had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come point. here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Uh, Our hometown looks pretty answer. picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Pretty crazy Tina found someone willing to pay cash for a house out here, huh? Yeah. Who has that kind of money and wants to buy a house in Delos Crossing? Now we'll never know. We'll get another buyer. Hmm. Hopefully. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. 
Yes, you did. I did not. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, I know how that feels. not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. That's nice. Why does it? Why does it feel like there's gonna be an encounter? With, uh, Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? With uh, yeah. Mad Hunter. It was a week before they got the roads reopened, and Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. It felt like our house was on a deserted island, but way colder. It was a thing I could look at. People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier, and we get to see it from our deck. Hey, you should remember that sales pitch for when we have another buyer. Watch the car be like siphoned or something. Hey, look what I found. Well, Aha. Nice. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. Does it say TA now? Yes, yes it does. Achievement unlocked, Arbor Glyph. Corrected the old graffiti on the tree. So, what's the plan? I apologize if you can hear some construction. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come Not back to the station. I'm gonna say hi to Tyler. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll- Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? 
It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. He has no teeth. Right? Not sorry. We're going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. Yet. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. You can yes, you got, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. Copy. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? Later. I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. We're gonna have to look for clues or something? Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Yep. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched... Probably not the smartest idea, but I don't know what else to do. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom yeah. just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah, okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Um... 
There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way out. Then what do I do then? Huh. This says there's an emergency exit upstairs. Oh my god. Of course there is. Follow me. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, yeah. I had to be in surgery. I can't really read that because I have to follow her. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital. That's right. That's sure is. There's also a restroom right there. Right there. What the heck? Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Smack the police <laughs> officer in the face. What do I do? Probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. It's not gonna work. Oh, oops. Tyler. What now? Turn right when you head yeah, now. Actually, no, I'm staying here. Okay, maybe I do have to go out. It's like I hate when dialogue gets into out this winter air. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. I don't know if it's this way or the other way. I think it's up here. Quick, then get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna get caught and detained? It's not in there. His office is open for some reason. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back now. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Zero case files. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, I really uh, do think that's a this struggle. letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Miss Allison Ronan, I am delighted to inform you that you have been accepted to our Contemporary Drama Summer Program in the College of Fine Arts at Juno University. We are excited at the prospect of working with such a passionate candidate. On behalf of the College of Fine Arts, I extend our most enthusiastic congratulations. You may sign up and read more about what awaits you this summer on our website where you first applied. We look forward to welcoming you in person. Sincerely, Shannon Streep, Summer Programs Admission. Are you sure you checked all the emails? No. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. 
Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. You guys can read that. I'll keep it on screen for a little bit. I'll read the messages, though. Please pay the due amount on or by March 25th, 2012. Transactions are prorated through March 7th, 2012 due to release prior to quarterly period. If you have questions, please contact the Division of Financial Services as soon as possible. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The, fire, the Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all the support you've given us over the years. Sincerely yours, William Emerson. Are you sure you checked all the emails? No, I haven't. I'm still reading them. I hate when I hate when games do. Looks this. like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Okay, all that information. I don't know if I'll need it. If I do, that's unfortunate, but mm. You finding anything? No. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Oh, it's another statue. Huh. Hey, you. I feel like I'm missing a ton of them. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. It's not a spider. Wait, was there something in there? I think it gave me an option. Though yes. we are destined okay, to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. General discharge. Under honorable conditions from the Armed Forces of the United States of America, this is to certify that Donald M. Mert, Private First Class Regular Army, was discharged from the Army of the United States on the 26th day of April 2012 under honorable con Conditions. Signed J. H. Miller, Major T. C. Resume: Donald M. Mert. Contact and all the information. Responsibilities: Supervise sure construction of sandwiches. Allison, please stop. Utilize cash register to engage in commercial transactions. Transaction. Ah, I can't speak. In commercial transactions with customers, morale leader, education, and all that stuff. Post it note from Eddie, he might work. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Okay, I'm not reading all of that because I don't want to. I'll keep it on screen. Next page. There we go. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone... I hate how she just off in the distance talking to me. He's in charge of the seating chart. Hey, Eddie. You'll find and close your invitation for the annual social. As usual, I have included a plus one on the chance that one day you'll use it. Cheers, Elliot. 
Honor our, elder, honor our elders, community social. You are cordially invited to attend the 34th annual dinner and dance honoring all elders in our communities playing it cultural legacy. And then the date and the address. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Okay, is that it? Yeah. I don't know if that's a puzzle that I'm gonna have to remember. I've read all the things. What was that? Is just the thing on the door? Yes. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but what? maybe there's something in Eddie's office. What else is in here? How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. He graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. I don't know what else is in here. Because I've interacted with everything as far as I'm aware of. Uh... Gallon was saying like, have you checked all the emails? I'm such a moron. I didn't even check the computer. Email. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Hi Chief. Regarding your request this morning about the Ronin case, it hasn't been digitized yet, so you can find the paper originals in the archives for other references about the case. Transcripts of phone calls have been taken out. But you can find the digitalized calls or digitized calls through the appendix. Let me know if you need anything else. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Good morning, Chief. Tessa and I would love to have you over for dinner on Thursday night. And I know you can't... You can't say no to a roasted salmon. I didn't catch it myself, but it's this morning's catch. That's grammar typo. Looking forward to seeing you, Thomas Vecchi, and all that stuff. Good morning, everyone. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday, November 11th at... One o'clock PM thirteen hundred hours. I need us all there, so speak now if you can attend and I'll reschedule. As I said this morning, we'll be talking about implicit bias. This is not punishment, it has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We all can benefit from this from this discussion, no matter who we are. I've attached some reading material we will be discussing in a in a, I can't speak. And am available if there are any questions. We would like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting on Saturday, November 5th, 2015 at 10 a.m. What? Why is it like 1300, 1300 hours and then it's like you give me like 10 a.m.? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. At the Juno City Council event room. We look forward to seeing you there. You hit reply all, Sherlock. And then all that information. Man, who pissed in her cereal this morning? People, we are all adults here. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink better learn to clean after themselves, or I will personally stuff said culprit into the washer so they can see how it works. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Yes, that... That makes sense, yes, I thought that was the case the entire time. I have a feeling we're gonna get caught and detained, I just know it.
Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The memory? The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Um. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Okay, so something, 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 one. You're pressing the wrong numbers. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Can I get the thing again? How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. Dum da dee do. So six. You're pressing the wrong numbers. I can get this without. So six, one. Six one four, or is it six zero? I forget. No. Nope. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Six zero four one. Yes. There we go. I didn't need no stinking memory. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because you're the one that because wants the answers. if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Controller stopped working. So I have to resort to mouse and keyboard. Nope. <sighs> Not this one either. <sighs> Where's the damn box? Well. Huh. What was that reference number again? 05 R68 653. So 05. No, that's not it. Okay. Chronological record. Investigation that. Uh, 
I'm just gonna skim over this so you guys can read it. Uh, Bullets recovered from location? Did she use the gun? Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Not recover a pair of scissors. What happened to the scissors? Victim information crime summary. References zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. Sixty two. It's in one of these boxes, I just don't remember which one it is. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not any of these. Where's O562? this one. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She... Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab her was non-fatal. What? Hmm. I think drowning would be like a really terrible way to go. Like I'd rather just have it be like over with. It's freezing like water. That kind of that makes sense. All that evidence. Bunch of gross like wording and whatnot. So R sixty one. Okay. Eight, eight, nine. I need to check out 
05R61889. There. Yeah, I saw the 61. Crime report. Homicide. Technically, it wasn't homicide. It was just an accident. Like an accidental death. Be a lot though. Narrative crime summary. On March 1st, 2005, at around 2200 hours, which is 10 o'clock, the victim, Mary Ann Ronan, a 41 year old white female, exited her home and entered her garage to start loading a Rassler 3121 9mm shotgun. Shortly after, her child, I'll just go with Tyler Ronan, 11 years old, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by her sis by sister, uh, Allison Ronan. According to witness, I don't know which one that's talking about, Ronan's statement, when she saw the child's haircut, Mary Ann became enraged and threatened Tyler Ronan with a shotgun. Tyler Ronan fled the, fled the garage towards the lake calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out onto the dock and on to the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, witness Allison Ronan came, also came out of the house towards the dock when she observed Tyler Ronan under threat from Marianne defend themselves by stabbing mother with a pair of scissors. At the time, both witnesses state Marianne Ronan lost consciousness and fell into the lake. At 1029, Delos Crossing Police Department Officer Christian Holt, number 55899, received a phone call from whoever, Ronan, detailing the incident. Patrol Officer Jay Chan, number 5622, was dispatched to the scene. Upon arrival, they set up containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles, Tyler and Allison Ronan. See those statements for further description. Notification of detectives. On March 1st, 20, 2005, Officer Christian Holt notified his partner, Officer Eddie Brown, by telephone at the incident before being dispatched to the scene. Investigation. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene at 10.58. They noted the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Cannery Road is a secluded road mostly comprised of a few residential cottages. Detectives observed a loaded Rassler shotgun on the dock. No rounds had been discharged. They directed forensic personnel to recover items. Detectives were directed to witnesses Tyler and Allison Ronan. Witness Allison Ronan stated that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in her bedroom. She ran down the stairs and looked over the kitchen window and saw her sibling and their mother, Mary Ann, on the docks. Mary Ann was threatening her child with her gun. Tyler Ronan tried to run away, but Mary Ann threatened that she was going to shoot. According to both witnesses, she stated, I'm going to kill you. Allison well, whoever was accused, Ronan then stabbed Mary Ann Ronan with a pair of scissors, trying to escape. Mary Ann Ronan then fell into the water unconscious. And then the evidence. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? I'm coming out. No, you're not. He'll see. 
vazio. Still looking for evidence. Gallows Crossing Police Department. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey. Can you give me your address? Oh, Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! And then he hung up. Achievement unlocked. Found a recording of the twins 911 call. There might be other references on the computer. Okay, what what references though? Am I missing something? Oh, court order. 0563. References 05 R63 325. This one, I think. Okay, here it is. Well, that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Order for temporary detention or placement in the Superior Court for the state of Alaska. At in the at I don't know what I don't know what that is that's a acronym for something. In the matter of extended placement of Tyler Ronan, case number sixty-eight six five three DL, a minor under eighteen years of age. Order for detention of placement. Birthday hearing held on those dates. Having found probable cause to support the pending petition, or the minor having been determined delinquent or in violation of a probation co slash conduct agreement, the court finds by a preponderance of the evidence that detention or placement outside the home of a parent or guardian is necessary to protect the minor or others. It is ordered that the minor is con committed to custody of the Division of Juvenile Justice for detention in a locked or secure facility such as Fireweed Residential Center for Troubled Youth. The, DJ, the DJJ has discretion to release the minor without further court order. Other orders. The above is supported by the oral findings entered on record and contained in the clerk notes, or as otherwise noted below. Order for detention or placement recommended on March 18, 2005. Superior Court Master A. Benjamin, Superior Court Judge Erica White, I certify that on a copy of this order was sent to DJJ Minor Slash Attorney Parent Slash Guardian. Placement of Detention Facility DAGAL Clerk Curtis Davis. Here. Thank God. So, 
2005-201. Okay, I need to check out 2005-201-546. Nope. This one. Here we go. Wait, what the hell? That's a huge old child neglect. I'm not gonna read all of this. You guys can read it. I'll just skim over it. Narrative on January 31st, 2005, at approximately 10:45. Mary Ann Ronan entered Veni Vedi Vecchi's Vecchi, owned by Thomas and Tessa Vecchi. Miss Vecchi stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Miss Vecchi stated that she was behind the cash register and did not have direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Vecchi stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Becky informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything else. Becky stated that after approximately 5 minutes she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. Becky stated that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else has been in the store that morning. Becky stated that she had suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past, notably while in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children. Becky stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Becky believed that it is possible some sort of abuse may be occurring in the home. Yeah, I can, I can uh, see that being possible outcome. Tessa's name came up. Search for her. 0568 references 05 R68 MISC. Yet where that is. Thank God that the options that I already looked at aren't this one. There. The options that I already looked at aren't available anymore. Thank God. Huh. Why is that here? Da, 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 da. Diagnosis, concussion, description of symptoms, pressure in the head slash headache, loss of consciousness, nausea, and days. Hospital release. One, patient name a legal guardian, Tessa Vecchi, hereby released St. Meadow Clinic, from liability following the patient as per terms of this release agreement. I have read and understood this hospital release form. Patient signature hospital stamp. Very helpful. Am I going to go through every single box? It mentioned child services. Search for that. Got something. Oh my god. Here they go. Got something. Here. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. 
Have a good afternoon, Mrs. Pru. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Thank you. 0501COM. Okay. I need to check out 0501COM EBR. Here it is. This might be my least favorite section so far. Jesus. Just because it's a Unbelievable. Lot of reading Allie. and puzzle solving. Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? That sucks. I need to get moving. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! Hey! Get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said fucking don't fucking it. touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and... I'll be right back. Plane supplies Sorry were about scarce. that. Fire alarm was going off. Everyone well, not was the fire struggling. alarm. Smoke detector. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, 
in attention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. She did. Just following the law then. Right. Well, Is that like why you did. came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Oof. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Before I made a choice with the ring, so this time I'm going to try to rectify that. I'm open to getting there. But it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Yeah, there we go. I rectified the decision. Phew. Didn't think Group I was going to be able to accept that. Uh, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Them as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Tyler, what's up? I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. It was messed up. Eh, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. So, uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. I, uh... We don't have to talk about it. Oh. Uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Well, she was behind me. I thought she was downstairs already. I don't think there's anything else. I think I just have to leave now. Hey, you know the drill. But not that Chin way. up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Talk somewhere. Yeah, sure. I'll text you.
Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. time she had a lot of spite in her heart, huh? Achievement unlocked. Cold case. Discovered intel about Marianne's past and her death. Where is everybody? Dead. This has gotta be around dead. somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring me down. So what do I do? I hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Okay, so I have to go talk to Tom. I don't think there's anything to really interact with in the, in the store right now. Let's go straight to the door. So many a shotgun to the face. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Okay, why... Oh, there we go. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. 
That's suspicious. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. So that's all the options. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... Resistance Trade. from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened. Which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting. So, don't be late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so... Kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. That's not suspicious at all. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? <laughs> We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Ha 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 Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. So should we just not go then? No, of course not. We're going to go, I just... I need to feel how I'm gonna feel about it right now. Okay. I'm sorry for getting frustrated. It is what it is, right? Go have fun with Michael while I close the register. Where did he go? I don't think he's in here. He's not. He said he was going over the storage room. Is it this room over here? It looks like it. I think it's open. It is, okay. Oh, this is a big room. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? These are just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, 
Tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? I wonder what's in that box. Why am I standing here looking at this? Uh, no, that's not it. It's like, I don't know why it gives me that option when it's just gonna be like, defecating. It's like, Oof. oh, why am I looking at this? I drank this, this at a party once. Because gave me the option it to look at it. not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Cheddar dip? Uh, yuck. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of a jar. Oh, God. I wonder what's in that box. Here's the same thing. It's at the back of the room. Is it over here? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Hold on. Let me count this. Wait. Fourteen? There's fourteen cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Oh, it's bottom shelf. I think. Yeah, so it's... Six? Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What? What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Uh... It's beautiful. No. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man. I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? <laughs> cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, uh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. I don't know which box. Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, so it's none of those, I don't think. I wonder what's in that box. I don't know which box that's referring to. Only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Uh, no, that's not it. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. I wonder what's in that box. I might have to ask for a hint because I don't know what it's asking of me. Because he said what's in the box. Why am I standing here looking at this? Because you give me the option Maybe to... I should pick up some for Allison? We could use some of that at the house. Was it on this shelf? Because if it's not, I have no idea. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. Why am I standing here looking at this? Okay, I might have to ask for a clue or a hint. Because I don't know what this is asking of me. You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Oh, it's this box? So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Looks like there's at least 11. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Uh-oh. Michael? Dun, 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 Ouch. dun. What the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. So, is this a typical workday for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good-looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. Damn, overshot it. Damn, overshot it. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Damn, overshot it. Okay, what do I... Damn, overshot it. Do I, is there like a time? Yeah, we better wrap this up soon. Damn, overshot it. I don't understand this. Damn, overshot it. Because I can't. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. Well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, 
I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, oh, alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Achievement unlocked. Sharp oh, hey, see that container? Won the plushie battle. That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. Yeah, not take it. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me because no one else will. Right. Same. I feel, I you. feel that. Yeah, exactly. I feel that. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with the few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. I and mean, what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I've never really been with anybody. Guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? Anyway, and I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. But you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Indeed, you have no concept. idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because no, I'm just yes. that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. 
I might be. Yeah. Now, yes. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm -hmm. You look so angry. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. This is not going to be fun, is it? What are you supposed cemetery? Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially the, after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house. Cool? Because this is like the type of scenario that would call for it. So, did you ever come back? Just keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror in her own thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Like I grew up with a, uh, a single mother along with three other siblings. And it was not a good time because I was the only one that was disabled. So I felt like I was held back. Due to the national outlawing of native religions and ways of life, much of our knowledge of the old ways of Klingit's spiritual practice has been lost. Below are two everlasting examples of the love and reverence we continue to show our departed in the tradition of our ancestors. Mourning those who have journeyed to the other side. As love transcends all boundaries, the passing of a clan member is an event felt throughout the community. The people come together to mourn a loved one and lift their opposite clan member's spirits. When an eagle is being mourned, the ravens shower love and strength upon mourning eagle clans. Likewise, when a raven is being mourned, the eagles are there for the ravens. After the service, it is customary for members of the opposite I don't know what that says. To con comfort the grieving family by bringing out the clan owned regalia. To symbolically catch tears before they hit the ground and comfort grieving clan members with their support. It's like some, some words I have a hard time pronouncing that I don't just, I just don't try. Celebrating life. 
The 40-day party is observed 40 days after the passing to pay respects to the departed. Some believe this is a more recent tradition. Family members organize a shared meal where, where a fire dish, one plate of food, is burned to nourish and comfort the spirit of the departed. One year or more from the passing, a potluck is held to first mourn, then celebrate the life of the departed. It is hosted by the clan of the deceased. This is to honor the departed clan member through a traditional ceremony, show appreciation and pay debts to the opposite, whatever, who supported the clan during time of mourning. I assume that I'm going all the way down the path. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> Because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Go through here. Where are you going? Apparently not. Ben, short and simple. I like it. Come on, there's only a handful left. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. To honor those no longer with us, the clean up preser preservation no community. Luck on my end. You? Nothing. And the community of Delos dedicate this monument as an everlasting connection between past, present, and future generations. May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. May this be a resting place for our loved ones who have journeyed to the other shore. Many are. May our eternal love soothe the wounds of days past towards a brighter horizon. No dice. Hazel Salazar. I think that's 55. Like a half. Excuse me. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. Sixty-four. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. Guess again. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Now do I go through here? 
Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Do you remember where she is? Do you remember? For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Oh. Hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um, it starts with a K, right? Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. I, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. We came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I... Just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... Uh, that's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right, but if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to, just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> yeah, but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? Uh... It sounds like you've got a good thing going here. Why not give it a little more time to see? I do, don't I? I can always change my mind, but for now it feels like the right thing to do. It sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Damn. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. Two years old. God. Those kind of accidents happen all the time. But the penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so... So they do jack shit. Life's got a price. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Aww.
won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. That's sad. Uh, I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but... I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every, every day. I'll be back soon, all right? I promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. It's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. Mm. This spot's familiar. I need mom's grave. Man, I forgot how hard Marion took it when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four, but yeah. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Just shy of sixty two. Where did Michael go? Ty. This, this is it. Right? Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. <coughs> this might take a while. Not this one. She's got to be here somewhere. No dice. Not hers. Why can't I remember? Where is she? Where is she? There we go. Mm. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. <laughs> T 
Tessa? Kids. I... I, I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? sad when we pass on our graves are all anyone has to remember us by that it's not true in the slightest letting hers just fall apart would be cruel i'm not a cruel person cruel enough to call social services on our mother i i, I wanted to protect you Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to... Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Uh -oh. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Ooh, that's a very bad choice. Uh, it's like you could have done better. You did what you had to, but you did destroy the family. I think you could have done better is a good choice. Which is why I'm going to go with it. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance, and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Uh-oh. Um, I feel like the connections need to be stronger, so. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you 
Plus, I made Both that first choice, and it's, I felt bad. I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're going to be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Dun, 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 dun. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. Been on but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You want to sit down for a bit? The scenery is just really nice. I like it. I've been like... Praising it the entire time. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters. Right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? Never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. It's turning night time. I got a bad feel about this. <sighs> I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. 
Allison. Oh. I'll get the fire extinguisher. That actually scared me. I didn't expect that. Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Who was that? I had to be. I had to assume it's Sam because he was the only one that knew the barn was on. Was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. So did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. That's good. Did he really have to smash everything? I might have found something. Trying to examine. Insane. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Hmm. None of them. Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. So I need to find a tool. I assume is in here. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Really turned this place upside down. Oh, it's one of these. At least you were spared. The moon hag. It was probably in one of the stories that I just didn't read. Hey, a crowbar. I guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. It's Pandora's box, don't open it. Well, I only know one person like who bothered to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. Um... Wait, look, it's the same symbol. Yeah. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any. I'm just gonna skim over it to see if there's a code. Just because I'm actually running out of time and I wanna get through this chapter. Da -da 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 -da.
Well, I, I was gonna say there were numbers down at the bottom. Maybe that's a code, but I don't think it is. Unless it is. 130? Might as well try it. That did it. Yep. So reading the story wouldn't have helped at all, so. Are these, like... Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. I was gonna say, are these like apology notes or like... Suicide notes or something? Dear Mary Ann, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Delos Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Fuck. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. It's like, is, are you this, Zuko now? This guy tried to push Mary Ann to get an abortion. Oh, no. Even though she wanted to keep us. Mary Ann, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. But right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly, I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. That's fucked up, but okay. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. And a decade later, some guy comes along, trashes the barn, and tries to destroy the box. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Stick up. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I trip. I have a feeling we're gonna encounter the Mad Hunter here. The Mad Hunter! Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just, I, I saw, who the hell did I act? That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, yes, it had was. to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Damn, 
He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. No, I'm not gonna make the selfish choice. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. I'll do it. Let's go. I'm having a hard time remembering this. That would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, right? Don't think about anything else. So you're here to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. Look, we Tyler's owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Ay, ay, ay. So, you want to make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut? I don't owe you 
Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? That was the end of chapter two. I don't need to see it. Tyler felt with the light on when Allison Chase chose her. Tyler felt with light on when Allison chose his memory at the house. And I'm in the majority. Tyler felt hurt about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. And I'm still in the majority of majority refused. Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. And I'm still in the majority, 80%. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness, same thing. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Again, 80% majority. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. 81% majority. And post credit sequence. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I don't like the music box. I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm out of time. Great stopping point. Um, yeah, I'm having a great time with this. It's like the story is getting interesting. It's becoming a bit uh, dramatic, and I like it. Um, and I'm excited to see what's in the final chapter. It's weird because Don't Not Entertainment makes games that have five chapters, but this one only has three. It's either they they just stopped development or they always had uh, they always had plans for just three chapters. I don't know. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys later.